Hey everybody, Metal Fox here. Welcome back to The Witcher. We are in the outskirts of Vizima, and we're getting ready to enter this little village area. We're gonna go in and talk to the Reverend and see if we can figure out what the heck is going on around here. Take a look at our quests. And let's see, we need to talk to um, the Reverend about Salamandra. As the leader of the local community, the Reverend may know something about the man with the Salamandra brooch. I should see him as soon as possible. So we're gonna talk to him about Salamandra. Well, we could track that quest on the map. Well, look at this cute little map of the outskirts of Azima. Would you look at that? This is uh, Campfire, Campfire, Blacksmith. Here's the little inn that we were in before. It looks like there's a crypt up here. Abigail's Hut. We spoke with Abigail last time. Uh, campfire. This is where the Royal Huntsman was. And uh, here's the Reverend's House and um, a chapel and a meat vendor. Oh, my. So... Let's see what's going on in here. Pick this up while I'm looking at it. Why not? Hmm. Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Uh, chip. We're. Well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Some good militia they got there. Hmm. So, something new about witchers here. Uh, the glossary. Witchers. Uh, let's see. Which one? What have I already read here? Um... Yeah, we already read this, so this is the new part. Mutagens and magic render witchers' bodies resistant to all kinds of disease, even to the point of outright immunity. Okay, well, that's good to know. Catriana, what's this? A disease which quickly spread through all the northern countries after the war with Nilfgaard. Those who suffer from Catriana die a terrible death. Their, conv their convulsions become stronger each day. Ooh, they vomit blood and mucus and have bloody diarrhea. Hope you're not eating. After a fortnight or so, they die in agony. So I guess this is this plague that's going on around here. Uh, Ithlin's Prophecy. This is what that little boy uh, spoke of when we very first arrived here, the one that looked like he was possessed. An old elven prophecy about the end of the world. The wolf's blizzard approaches, the time of the sword and axe, the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. Ted Derid. Derid? The final age, the world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Hen I care, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. That's what the little boy said when he was possessed back then. Back then, I think it was like episode four or something. Uh, village we're militia. Keeping we're keeping the peace. Ah, that's right, we're not. Old town. Don't get killed. Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Hello. The men by the temple spoke of you. Oh, yeah, of course they did. I'm very notable. Let's see what's in here. Vesna's grandmother's house. Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Something must have happened to her. Happened to what? Who? Huh? What's going on, Grandma? I guess that's have all I could say. My granddaughter Vesna. Oh, I saw her. She didn't like me very much. Something must have happened to her. Aww. Something happened to her. Well, I'm just gonna rob you. While we're here, Grandma, I hope you don't mind. I mean, it's not like you could do a whole lot about it. Um, is that all there is to take in here? What's in this door? Locked? Oh, Grandma. Come on, now. It's all for a good cause. I once lived in Vizima, but poverty drove me to the fringes. Hmm, that's gotta be tough, man. Why is he in green? Oh, you're weird. Hey, watch it, kid. Uh, Eternal Fire Shrine, pious peasant the woman. In times when brother against brother stands, a terrible darkness will engulf the world. You'll be the light and salvation. Okay. Hey, there's the Reverend. Let's talk to him. Knights should fight monsters. Witches are crude. Ooh, say what? Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. 
There's nothing to speak of. Thanks, guy. Indeed, there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. Hmm. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts. For it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 warrens. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. Well, looks like we just found a way to make a little bit of money. But anyway, the main reason I'm here is... I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? <laughs> Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Haran. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. So now we probably have two of those things. Quest updated, Berengar's secret. Maybe Berengar can help me find Salamandra. Hmm, ooh. Quest updated of monsters and men. And quest updated of the Salamander's tail. Gosh, anything else updated here? Take a look at our quests. Salamander's tail. The Reverend doesn't trust me because of another witcher who was here earlier. Thanks, Berengar. I must tend to the beast and talk to the village's most prominent inhabitants, Odo, Heron, and McCool. Maybe I can learn something from them. Uh, let's see. Of monsters and men, the Reverend asked me to slay the beast. He believes that the holy flame should be lit in all the chapels around the village. I doubt that will help, but I've decided to do it as a favor for him and for a hundred orans. I must visit the five chapels at night and light a flame in each. And then Berengar's secrets. A witcher named Berengar was here, in the outskirts before me. He promised to kill the beast, but then ran off, leaving nothing but a bad impression. I'd like to meet him, talk to him. Maybe he knows something about the stolen secrets. I'm sure the witcher managed to get into the city. Alright. Uh, I don't think that we're done talking with the, um... The Reverend here, but, uh... I think here in our inventory now, we probably have two of those rings. Because an old lady gave us one earlier, and then he just gave us one. So, where are the rings? No, it only shows up once in my inventory here. So, no big deal. Uh, we already read that, and uh, we already read that. Okay. Alright, Reverend, I still have things to say to you. Speak quickly. I'll take my time. Um, well, let's... Uh, Go ahead and get his dialogue for this. Remind me, what was the story with the fire and the chapels? At night, light a candle in each of the five chapels of the eternal fire around our village. Fine. <laughs> okay. Can you remember that, Witcher? Speak quickly. Ah, let's talk to him about drowners. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I'll return with proof. Hurry. I'll take my damn time. Speak quickly. Uh, let's learn a little bit more about this guy. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen! Mm, Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the Elven Witch. Is that so? The old world will die. 
to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, Witcher? So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? Uh, all right, let's get on his good side. Um... Mm hmm hmm. Hmm. Now let's just apologize to him. I apologize, Reverend. Whosoever blasphemes deserves no, no forgiveness. No. Hey, yeah, one, one more, more thing. thing. Speak quickly. Let's try this again. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen. Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the pro. Is that the old? You seem to. You. Mu there. We'll try this now. Because he's totally going to forget about this first part. The Eternal Fire, no doubt. Return to your dark life, heathen. Yeah. No. All right. Is there one anything else thing. to talk to him about? Speak quickly. Uh, no. I'll see you later. Alrighty then. Can we go into the chapel? Oh, it's locked. We cannot go into the chapel. Oh, hey, how's it going? I work hard, but the wife and kids ever plague me. Mm, that's a poor use of the word plague there, buddy. Old townswoman. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! Um, let's see. Maybe we can make an arrangement. What, uh, what does that mean? Left click bribe in dialogues to set an amount and attempt to bribe characters. Tip, characters respond differently, differently to bribes and some might take offense if your bribe is too modest. Why would I want to bribe this old lady? I don't need to bribe an old lady. Many. Let's give her, let's give her something. Let's, she wants food, right? Let's give her a chicken sandwich. Who doesn't want a good, delicious chicken sandwich? I only know old fables. Yeah, let's hear an old fable. I'd gladly hear them. My grandchildren like stories of the drowned dead, like the jilted miller's daughter who tied a millstone round her neck and plunged into the depths. When someone overcome by passion drowns, they arise as the drowned dead. Mm. At night, the miller's daughter persecuted the living till the knights of the flaming rose sent her to eternal rest. Mm. The order of the flaming rose eliminates monsters. Its knights protect us and ask no reward. Unfair competition, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Another old townswoman. Folk don't want my Beauclair wines. And I long haven't tasted pork. Do we have any pork? I don't remember ever picking up any pork. We have a lot of chicken. Mutton. Chicken. Yeah, I don't think we have any pork. Let's see what she thinks about mutton. I'm not starving, just eager for some pork. All right. All right. You are talking about food, right? Not enough money. Jeez, I don't even have enough money to bribe her. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm sorry, lady. I, I ain't got no pork. So you're just going to have to. I'm old, but I'm not demented. Oh, OK. I didn't say you were. Jeez, calm down. The man by the temple spoke of you. Yep. Can we go? Ooh, let's go in the Reverend's house. Oh my. Let's just, you know, let's get to know this guy. A more intimate level. Let's see, what kind of stuff does he wear? Well, hmm. I'm gonna take this amber here. It might be worth something. Let's see what's in the dresser. Stamelford's Dust. High quality base for bombs. Okay, cool. Thanks, Reverend. Hey, let's go look down these stairs. What's going on down here? We've got a barrel. Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff. Don't see any pork though. Barrel rack. Get some more wine. An old shelf. Still no pork. Ooh. Ithlin's prophecy. Huh. Can I read it from here? No. So now that I've picked that up, let's read about Ithlin's prophecy. The prophecy of Ithlin Egli Ep Evanin N. Ethlin Spith. Everybody get that alright? 
I tell you that the time of the sword and the axe approaches, the time of the wolf's blizzard, the time of the white frost, and white light, the time of madness and disdain, Ted Derrid, the final age, the world will perish amidst ice, and be reborn with the new sun, reborn of the elder blood, of hen I care, of planted seed, a seed that will not sprout, but, you guessed it, burst into flames. Uh, S thou S, so shall it be, watch for the signs, I will tell you what these signs will be, the earth will run with the blood of inside, the blood of of the elves. Dun dun dun. All right. Well, it's a nice little man cave you've got down here, Reverend. Let's get out of here before we're caught. Oh, hey. I was uh I was just uh, you know, fixing the air conditioning. I once lived in Vizima, but poverty drove me to the fringes. Mm. Hey, barrel. Ooh, orins. Cool. Eight more orins. That could come in handy. What the heck? Alright, just a little place there. Ooh, hellbore. Alright. Take that. By the way, um, if you hold control and click on something, you'll pick it up without having to go through the uh, interface. One of my longtime viewers told me about that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's raining odd. It's raining odd. Ah. It's raining odd? What? Hmm. Another door. House. Man, look at the size of this place. Sheesh. It's like a th cathedral. Oh, man. This guy's got all kinds of stuff. And we're going to take it all. We're going to run out of storage space here in a minute. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll just go store it at the inn. Freak or not, you may prove useful. Ah, ha, ha, ha. What, I can't talk to her? Alright, fine. I'll just take your stuff. Let's go upstairs. A nice big house you got here, lady. Oh, old townsman, townswoman. Oh. People cared for flowers once. Now I alone cultivate tulips. Really? Apparently. Did I see bunches of flowers? Did I? I saw bunches of flowers on the way. Oh, if you brought me but a small bouquet of wild flowers, I'd gladly give you tulips in exchange. Um, I'll look around. We are talking about flowers here, right? So? Old townsman. I witnessed that ghost biting a townswoman's head off. Yeah. All right. Ooh, a torch. Okay, can I take it? Oh, I can't carry any more items. Wah, wah. Huh, interesting. So, I mean, what if I swap... Oh, I can't put this in here. Oh. Oh, I was gonna... Can I just... I'll oh, drop item. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. What? What? Huh. Whoa. Holy cow, how many things did I drop? Oh, I dropped my dagger. I see. Okay. Well, let's hang on to the torch. It might be useful. Yeah, we'll just leave that dagger lying there on the floor. So, the, apparently there are a lot of women here in town who want flowers. I don't know what the benefit of bringing them flowers is. Many. All right, we already talked to you. Good luck. Good luck. You risk children away, turn them into witches. You should be ashamed. I don't do any such thing. I was whisked away myself, lady. The men by the temple spoke of you. Yeah, you mentioned that. Brother would have protected us from the beast. Uh huh. Good deal. Good deal. What? Me stealing your stuff is a good deal. Still no pork. Nobody seems to have any pork. Oh, I haven't the strength. Which door did I come in? Well, maybe they just have two doors. Um, let's see. Just a bunch of beggars. Let's see who's over here. 
Maribor Gate. Okay. A couple of city guards here. These guys aren't going to let me in. No passage. If you have a letter, find Mickle. No passage. If you have a letter, find Mickle. All right, fine. Jeez. So what's our immediate quest here? Uh, let's see. I need to find Heron, Odo, and Mukul. Um, I can't do this one until nighttime. And we need to find Berengar. So right now we're interested in the Salamander's Tail. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, here's Heron Brog's house. There's Mikkel. Now let's see if we could um, go talk to Heron. Right? Let's see here. So he should be down here according to the map. We want to do all this before it gets dark outside. We just entered the fishing village. Uh, fireplace. Zoltan Chive. There's a door. You know me, I like to go walking into other people's homes. Hey, what's up, thug? I wouldn't arm a dog, but I'd crucify any elf. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm not an elf. Drinking the hairy bear, but the city gates are closed. Ah. Oh, let's take a shawl. Uh, why do you guys have a shawl in here? Ooh. Chicken, mutton. Nobody has pork. Wardrobe. Brawler. Hey, what's up? Get lost. Oh, okay, fine. Sorry. Ooh, a dagger and a whetstone. I'll take the whetstone. All right. Gee. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Who does he think he is? Is he talking about me because I was stealing their stuff? They don't seem to care, though. What the? Hey, what's going on here? Are they picking on this little guy? Oh, okay. Let's go over here and investigate. What's up? 